Welcome to the YouTube channel, How to Get an 800 Credit Score. My name is Lyndon Baptiste, and welcome, welcome to all of you who have uh, decided to join us today in this lovely, beautiful Monday here on at uh, South Dakota. Appreciate all of you who have joined with us today, and happy Labor Day to all of you too, um, also as well. I really appreciate you, and I'm glad for the opportunity to be here. Uh, to have another live stream with you. This is not our regular scheduled live stream, however. Our regular scheduled live stream is every Wednesday at 8.15 p.m. Central Time. Um, but we are doing this live stream now uh, because, you know, we decided to take the opening, you know, being that um, there is not going to be any um, live stream with How to Build Credit TV today. Uh, due to the fact that Dwayne is in another country um, so um, we are doing the live stream um, here on our channel um, how to get an 800 credit score so if you haven't already and you're interested in learning how to build credit how to travel the world for free how to get approved for lines of credit loans um, mortgages cars at the lowest payments possible and increase your credit score along the way in the process go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the bell for notifications that way you would never miss a single video as we make them here on this channel uh, too also as well so uh, I want to thank you um, say a special thank you to the five people that are watching uh, with us right now really appreciate it uh, thank you thank you so much uh, for joining uh, to all of you and uh, I want to say a special thank you uh, to Janelle Janelle Leone um, thank you so much for joining us in another live stream really appreciate you too also as well uh, so today as you could tell uh, by today's topic our topic for today is how to get approved for any credit card and using these credit techniques um, that we're about to go over here for this evening's topic here in just one moment um, so I'm just um, giving you know uh, people some time uh, to get into the chat and uh, hopefully we will be able to get started here I uh, really appreciate all of you who have joined with us in our last live stream um, that we had and we really had a good time it was a great topic too also as well I appreciate all the new people who had joined uh, too also as well and um, just remember that you're always welcome um, here in our live streams here on how to get an 800 credit score and um, you're welcome uh, with the family here so uh, feel free to comment as much or as little as you like to also as well if you see any questions inside of the comments feel free uh, to take a swing at them and answer them if you like to um, also as well um, so uh, today's topic again uh, we're going to be doing today is how to get approved for any credit card credit techniques um, so these are some um, techniques you know a few of them that we're going to go over today that I feel that a lot of you should know about a lot of you probably already know about a lot of these already <clears throat> but um, some of them I'm going to be going going into in full detail and some of them I will not be going into uh, full detail about um, I haven't have not uh, given any notifications on uh, Facebook or any other social media uh, I believe Janelle did uh, somewhat uh, but I didn't um, so a lot of you probably don't know um, that we are having a live stream right now but uh, if you were there in the last live stream that we did we did mention that we are doing a live stream um, today at 7 p.m. Central Time so I mean I'm glad to be here and I'm glad to be somewhat on time you know not too not too much late um, I was only like I think maybe five minutes late I believe uh, but I want to say a special welcome so everyone please give a warm welcome to Janelle Leone again everyone please give a warm welcome to uh, Janelle Leone 
Uh, Janelle says, Happy Labor Day. Um, happy Labor Day, Janelle. It's a pleasure to see you here uh, once again. Thank you. Thank you for joining. And, you know, everyone, Janelle has been uh, truly a blessing, you know, to the channel, too, also as well, because she helps us with answering questions, um, too. Uh, you know, any questions uh, or she helps to, yeah, to the best of her ability. I really appreciate that, though, also. And she also helps to uh, recognize uh, new people uh, with greetings. And also she helps to answer questions and um, comments. She, and she always pointing out to me uh, when I miss a comment. And she'll say, you know, uh, you got to go back. You missed a comment. So. Um, yes, it's always a good thing, you know, to have her here uh, with us in today's live stream too, also as well. So, if you're here with us right now um, and you're just watching or listening along, we really appreciate that too, also as well. But free, feel free to comment. Let us know that you're here um, too, also as well. If you can um, see our screen clearly and you can hear the audio clearly, just go ahead and type the number one. Uh, inside of the comments again if you can see our screen clearly and you can hear the video the audio clearly just go ahead and type the number one um, inside of the comments here to also as well Janelle Leon Janelle typed number one thank you so much for that Janelle I really appreciate that I guess I'm gonna go ahead and type number one too because <laughs> I, I mean I can see the screen clearly too also so Really appreciate, you know, all of you who have joined uh, with us today. I guess we're going to give a few minutes for some more people to come and join us here in the chat before we get into today's topic. But everyone, please give a warm welcome to Sneaky25. Sneaky25, how you doing, brother? It's glad to see you uh, back once again. I really appreciate you and happy Labor Day to you, Sneaky25. I hope you um, had a wonderful day today. Hope you're enjoying the holiday, um, too, also, as well. Uh, Janelle says, hi, Sneaky25, happy Labor Day. Yes, yes, thank you so much for that. Also, as well, Janelle, really appreciate that. Yes, uh, Janelle, yeah, you're right. Looks like Sneaky is the first one um, that's on uh, with us right now. Normally, it's uh, Cornell. <laughs> Normally, it's Cornell, Cornell, Mr. Mentor Freeman. He's normally the first one. Um, on, but yeah, normally, but depending on how busy he is, yeah, yeah, that's true. He drives a uh, truck, so he's always on the road working. Um, so well, it's glad to see you here with us, uh, Sneaky. I guess you're the first one, and I really appreciate that. So, um, if you haven't already, if this is your first time here watching us, um, all the links uh, to follow me on social media are here on the screen. You can follow me on Facebook, or you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn. All those links uh, can be found at the bottom of the About section of this channel, too, also, as well. Just go to the About section, go to the bottom, and click on a link um, to follow me on that social media um, network, too, also, as well. If you'd like to email me, you need help with building credit or credit repair or increasing your credit score, um, my email address is underneath um, the screen here, uh, right at the bottom of me. So feel free to email me at any time uh, that you like. Also, we ask that everyone please join our Facebook credit group. Our Facebook group is called How to Get Excellent Credit. Um, I put the name up on the screen here uh, to make it easier to also as well uh, because it's a good idea, you know, to have as many people in the Facebook group as possible. So that way we can share, you know, um, our ideas about credit, our experiences about credit um, with each other uh, to also as well. And I like to share like what's going on in the credit community too, also as well in the Facebook group. And also on our Facebook page. And by the way, our Facebook page is called How to Get an 800 Credit Score. Uh, that's on Facebook. Um, definitely uh, go to our page and like our page. Because um, that way, you know, if you happen to miss any videos uh, here on the channel, uh, you, you can definitely catch them later on on our Facebook page too also as well. 
uh, because I like to share a lot of our uh, live stream videos um, on Facebook uh, too, also as well on the Facebook page. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in that, definitely go ahead and like our Facebook page uh, for sure. Definitely uh, would mean a lot uh, to the community too, also as well. So I'm just letting more people know that we're on live because I did, really didn't let anyone know. Um, so I want at least to get a few people in here uh, before we start uh, the live chat. So that's what I'm doing right now, trying to um, send out a few notifications there. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I sent out, okay, that was sent out. Okay, awesome, awesome. So um, if you're watching right now and um, you have any good credit news, um, you know, maybe you had a credit score increase uh, this week. Maybe your credit score went up or you got a new credit card and you're very excited about it or you got approved for a major, major purchase. Uh, definitely uh, let us know uh, inside of the comments too also as well. Um, it definitely helps to give, you know, other members of our group um, that motivation. You know, it helps to give them motivation, uh, give a lot of. Uh, people inspiration too also as well and by the way a lot of you uh, who have been watching this channel watching our live streams um, have been doing really good as far as increasing your credit scores um, a lot of you have came from a long way too also as well um, and um, you know some of you, you, you that are watching this channel you're getting approved for um, you know, houses, mortgages, cars, car loans, lines of credit, loans, you know, and everything. So I'm really proud of you guys also as well because you definitely came from a long way also as well. So matter of fact, um, Jason, Jason Van Hughes is going to be closing on um, his new his new mortgage deal uh, that he got <clears throat> approved for. I believe it's going to be Wednesday. So we're looking forward to having him on this show too also as well. Um, so that way we could interview him and he could tell us more about his experience. Everyone, please also give a warm welcome to Cakeology or Bob from Cakeology. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. Welcome back once again. Uh, Bob has really done a great job on um, Travel Explorer Clicks uh, live stream. Uh, he was a guest there, and he just kind of stole the show, really. He was on fire. I really appreciate you, Bob. And everyone, um, Bob gives some excellent, you know, advice on how to build business credit, too, also as well. Um, so you definitely want to click on his name here inside of the chat, uh, Cakeology, and then click on Go to Channel. And then when you get to his channel, just click on Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will be able to catch his videos as he makes them too also as well. Uh, great videos, uh, great content too there, by the way, Bob. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Janelle and I really enjoy watching your videos on your channel um, too also as well. And by the way, we, we uh, would like to have uh, Bob here on our channel, <clears throat> on our live stream too also. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. We're just trying to... Uh, figure out what day and time is good for the both of us. Um, so, so yeah, I did send you an email, Bob. Um, so whenever you get a chance, uh, let us know. I, I'm going to have to let you know my schedule because um, today is my last day on vacation from my job. So I go back to work tomorrow. So I can do any day, I believe, Monday to Saturday, yeah, Monday to Saturday, um, usually like around 8 o'clock, after 8 p.m., that is, after 8 p.m., I, I don't want to make it too late, um, when I was on vacation, it was like any time, any day, but now I'm back to work tomorrow, so um, Sunday, 
all day, all day. Because I, I hardly ever work Sunday unless it's like for overtime purposes. Alrighty, Bob. So that gives you an idea of my availability there. So hopefully we'll be able to work out a day in time. Just shoot me an email. Let me know uh, what day, what time is good for you. And I will email you back and let you know, you know, if that time is good for me also. Uh, so what else do we have here? Okay, so uh, Bob says peace and love. Peace and love, Bob. And make sure you contact me about our live stream together. Yes, I definitely uh, will do that for sure, Bob. Um, Bob says sounds fabulous, I believe. Uh, I am ready when you are great. Oh, sounds great. Okay, awesome, awesome, Bob. Yeah, we're looking forward to that, to having you here on the live stream. Um, so that way, you know, a lot of our a lot of our people will get a chance to ask you questions, you know. You can answer questions, things like that. And, you know, because we want to definitely pick your brain about this business credit, uh, for sure. Because we know your channel is uh, specifically devoted to just that, uh, business credit. And a lot of people would like to know, you know, more about it. Um, some of us own businesses, you know, some of us don't, but would like to own businesses too also as well. So it is definitely a topic that, you know, it would um, spark a lot of interest uh, here on our channel uh, for sure. So I want to recognize um, uh, some of our new subscribers too also as well. Uh, so far we have uh two two new subscribers since our last live stream um ag the fun guy uh appreciate you ag the fun guy aj the fun guy that is i pronounced it wrong <laughs> um yeah because i have this program i could see you know our new subscribers so really appreciate you thank you so much for subscribing if you're watching this video uh please feel free to hit that bell notification too also as well and feel free to join us in any of our live streams. You're always welcome as well. And I want to say uh, welcome to another new subscriber here to our channel uh, by the name of Rock Like What. Rock Like What has just subscribed uh, to our channel too also as well. Thank you so much for joining Rock Like What. Um, uh, he's been making videos for a long time on YouTube. He has his own YouTube channel too also as well. Um, he talks about a variety of topics, uh, too. Um, so I was really impressed when I saw him subscribe to our channel. Um, so really appreciate you, Rock Like What. I don't know his real name, so that's why I just call him by his YouTube uh, channel name. <clears throat> so thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate you. Okay, okay. So um, Let's see where are we at. Okay, right now we it looks like we have ten people with us here inside of the live chat. <clears throat> uh, right now we have ten people with us inside of the live chat. So um, hit the thumbs up, people. It definitely helps out the channel, especially if you're interested in, you know, uh, learning how to increase your credit score, learning how to uh, build credit, get approved for credit cards or business loans or lines of credit. Or mortgages, you know, to travel the world for free. You'd like to build credit to do those things. So definitely hit the thumbs up. Uh, it helps with the YouTube uh, algorithms too. And helps YouTube to promote the video even more too also as well. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and try to get us started on today's topic here. Um, how to get approved for any credit card so if you missed this uh, live stream by any chance because I know a lot of people have missed it a lot of people are not here because I did not send out um, really hardly any notification so um, you could definitely feel free to watch it on a live replay okay so let's uh, get started on that that topic. Okay. So I really appreciate all of you for joining today <clears throat> and welcome back again.
Okay. Okay, so as you can see, the title there on the screen should say, uh, get approved for any credit card credit techniques. Uh, if you can see my screen clearly, just go ahead and type the number one inside of the comments. Again, if you can see the screen clearly, uh, just go ahead and type the number one inside of the comments. And if the audio is good, uh, just go ahead and type the number one inside of the comments too also as well. Okay, so that's our title. Um, get approved for any credit card credit techniques too also as well, you know. And this is a good thing to know, you know, too also because uh, we hear so much about all these wonderful credit cards. You know, we watch, you know, many big YouTube channels like uh, Credit Shifu, uh, Axe Sebi, you know, huge uh, YouTube channels, Graham Steven, and they start talking about, you know, all these wonderful credit cards. You know, these credit cards that earn, can earn us uh, travel rewards, points, uh, you know, so many different things. And um, it's, it's a good thing to definitely know about how to get approved for these credit cards, too, also as well. Uh, Cakeology type the number one. Thank you for that, Bob. Janelle type number one. Thank you so much for that, Janelle. Curtis Page, uh, welcome. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Curtis Page. Thank you for joining us, Curtis. Curtis types number one also as well. Um, so we hear so much about all these wonderful credit cards. You know, we come across them online and we say, oh, wow, you know, that credit card is so great. You know, this credit card is so awesome too also as well. And um, it just looks so appealing to us. But what we need to know is, you know, how to get approved for a lot of these credit cards. And that would help us out tremendously. Uh, everyone, please also give a warm welcome to Spence Echoes. Spence Echoes, thank you for joining us once again and welcome back. Uh, great topic, Bob says. Yes, thank you for saying that, Bob. I really appreciate that. Okay, so let's get right into it here. Okay, so basically, um, the first thing that you want to do um, when you're trying to get approved for, you know, a credit card or, you know, before you even think about that is you want to know what your goals are for building credit. Okay, you want to know what your goals are for building credit. And they are, you know, different um, goals that you could have in mind. I mean, you could want to travel. I made a, a mention of that there. Or maybe you just want to build credit just to make extra money. Maybe you heard about, you know, a lot of people who make money off of credit cards, so sign-on bonuses, um, cash back, you know, points, uh, you know, and so many different things. And you just want to make extra money off of credit cards. And, you know, I can definitely understand that because when you watch some videos on YouTube and you know, a lot of these YouTube uh, gurus, they, they start talking about how much money they made last year off of credit cards and, you know, how much they made th last month, you know, and you're really excited about it, too. And it makes you want to make money off of credit cards, too. OK, um, so it's definitely something, you know, that I wouldn't blame anyone for having that as a goal to act actually. That's one of my goals, too as well as to travel okay another goal um, that you could have for building up your credit is to own a business or start a business you know be become an entrepreneur all right and um, that's a good reason too that's actually a great reason um, also as well to own a business you know and also there are other reasons other goals why people have for business building their credit too also as well OK, so that's why I just put other there. OK, another thing you want to do is you want to know your past year's spending habits and your lifestyle from the past year. Why I say the past year uh, and I didn't say the past three years. Uh, well, I could have said the past three years, but, you know, I just wanted to start with past last year. You know, if you have like years that are changing up a lot, maybe your lifestyle from last year was different than your lifestyle the last year before that, um, then you want to kind of like at, try to average it out somehow over a span of maybe three years or so or 
four years okay but the main idea here is to know what your spending habits are okay as far as food that, that's the first category um, here um, you know do you like to eat at home um, most of the time do you eat out away from home to and what's the ratio to you eating at home and dining out you know do you eat at home more than you dine out or is it the other way around or do you do one um, all the time and not the other okay so that's part of knowing your spending habits and your lifestyle as far as housing you should already know um, your housing lifestyle if you there's pretty much three options here that I believe are either in a shelter or a own dwelling which is a house you own your own house or you live in a rented dwelling like a house that you rent or an apartment that you rent uh, too also as well so um, that's pretty easy to figure out all you have to do is look around you and you can see you know um, so apparel and services is the next um, category of spending like what do you do you spend a lot of money on clothes and services too also and then we have transportation um, do you do you um, use like ride shares like uber and lyft um, do you take public transportation? Um, do you drive a vehicle and you know, do you purchase vehicles like maybe for your business? Uh, do you do a lot of maintenance? If you own a vehicle is it's a chance that you're doing maintenance on that vehicle like you know changing the oil and the brakes and all of these different things. So you got to spend money on that too. And then you have gasoline and other fuels right so if you own a vehicle if it's not an electric car a 100 percent electric car then you're spending money on gas gasoline okay um so the other category there is health care uh like what happens to you when you get sick do you pay out of your pocket like a privately pay or do you use uh some type of health insurance okay uh so all these things are good to know about your lifestyle uh for entertainment wise um, like, do you use uh, subscriptions like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube TV, etc., etc.? Um, do you use them a lot? How often? Uh, you know, or do you like to? Are you a cable guy or a cable lady? You know, do you use cable um, often too? Uh, also, as well, do you like to go out and for entertainment? You know, and do things like maybe go to the movie theater. Um, you know, do a lot of things, uh, museum and things like that that are entertaining um, the next category is personal care products and services I know how much money do you spend on that I'm sure everyone spends money on that personal care products and services too also I mean to go to the barber shop get a haircut you know uh, or maybe a, a shave with a straight razor you know things of that nature that's all uh, involved in personal care how much money do you spend on education do you spend a lot do you buy you know you buy a lot of books you know do you buy ebooks um, do you buy educational videos you know things of that nature are you going to college paying your own tuition um, you know so these are all things that you should know already okay but these are just categories here um, that most people spend money on okay um, and cash contributions that would include like charities if you give money to charities or donations and things like that you know um, and then there's other spending okay so once you know that about your lifestyle uh, what you spend money on um, the next thing you would do is you want to research and find credit cards that fit your lifestyle and that and credit cards that offer the most benefits to you based upon your lifestyle okay and I say based upon your lifestyle that those are the key words that are the most important here I believe because you don't want to go out and just start spending money that you don't have okay don't and, or you don't need okay and a lot of people do that when they do not spend uh, within their own lifestyle or within their own means. Or they, maybe they're trying to upgrade too fast to a, to a different type of lifestyle. 
and they're just not ready for it yet. Or maybe they don't have the budget for it yet, you know, and they find themselves in a place or a situation where, you know, they they own like a, a $60,000 car and, you know, they, they're lacking in so many different areas, you know, of their lifestyle too. Uh, their overall lifestyle may have diminished, you know, even though they have a $60,000 car. All right. So that's what you you want to do next is you want to research and find the credit cards that fit your lifestyle and offer you the most benefits. The next thing you want to do is you want to find a bank that offers that credit card or those credit cards. OK, because I'm sure there possibly may be more than one credit card that fits your lifestyle and offers the most benefits to you. And to also as well, uh, for example, like if you like to travel and you also um, like to, you know, everyone eats food, of course. So you like maybe to buy a lot of groceries for the house or you like to dine or eat out um, throughout the year, maybe once or twice a month. Who knows? Uh, but there are credit cards that offer you the most benefits in those spending spending categories. So what you want to do is make sure you do the research and find those credit cards that fit your lifestyle and offer you the most benefits. And also, um, the next thing you want to do is you want to find a bank that offers that credit card. Okay. Uh, so for me and my fiance Janelle over here, we we would like to maybe do start doing a little traveling, maybe once a year. Um, so we plan on, you know, getting starting with the chase cards. OK, uh, could we believe that would fit our lifestyle uh, pretty much not. We, we don't want to really we, we don't think we'll be like um, getting a chase sapphire um, chase sapphire reserve, I think it's called, uh, because we're not going to be doing that much traveling, maybe once a year, um, if that. And so there is also another uh, American Express Gold Card, uh, which gives a lot of benefits for that, too. Uh, so we plan on possibly um, maybe going for that after the Chase Freedom. OK, or possibly the American Express Blue. OK, um, right now we have 13 people with us here inside of the live stream. And thank you so much for joining um, everyone. Please hit the thumbs up button. Um, right now we have 13 people here uh, with us. The thumbs up, it really helps out the channel tremendously. So really appreciate that. 11 people. Okay, right now we have 11 people right here inside of the yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. Because my phone takes a while to update. Um, so let's see what else. Did we miss any other comments? No. no? Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's just move right along here. Um, the next thing we're going to cover is how to build relationships with big banks. Um, and we're going to talk uh, briefly about the relationship banking strategy. OK, I'm not sure if anyone of you have heard of this term being used, relationship banking. Uh, but I'm going to give you a brief definition of what relationship banking is. OK, and relationship banking is a strategy used by banks to strengthen loyalty of customers and provide a single point of service for a range of products and services to also as well. OK, so it is basically a way that the banks you know, can have a good communication, a good relationship with their customers to also as well and provide uh, for their customers everything pretty much that they need or may want. OK, uh, so basically with relationship banking, um, you know, um, I just mentioned that term because it was kind of somewhat related uh, to our topic on how, you know, um, how to get approved for every any credit card. Uh, well, basically, part of that is you want to be able to build relationships uh, with big banks, you know, not not only big banks, but other banks, too. OK, um, if you if you've already done what we covered there, you already looked at your spending habits, you looked at your lifestyle and you've seen, OK, well, I, I like to travel. I like to, you know, uh, eat out. I like to buy groceries. You know, maybe I want a credit card for um, my 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 pets. 
Okay, they have credit cards for that too. Um, so that's what you really want to consider is your lifestyle, what credit cards are right for you, and then you can find out what banks offer those credit cards. Okay. Um, so uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to know if a bank uses check systems or if they offer uh, second chance accounts. Okay. And basically, a lot of you should already know what check systems is. It's just like another bureau um, that they collect records um, of how you performed your banking um, over the past few years. I, I don't remember exactly. I believe they go back five or seven years. I don't remember exactly how far they go back. Uh, but uh, you definitely can find out um, if that bank uses check systems. Uh, by going to this link right here. It's called creditful.com forward slash no check systems and second chance banks where they give you a whole list of banks on that site um, that use check systems, okay? Or they offer some type of second chance accounts. And those second chance accounts are basically, you know, um, it's, what it, it's what its name is. You know, it's a second chance account uh, for people who maybe have messed up with a bank account before in the past. Um, so, you know, these banks uh, have these accounts set up <coughs> to give people a second chance to, you know, to start over again and start managing their money. And, you know, where before maybe they m might have um, overdraft the, their accounts, um, things like that. And now they're giving them another chance to start over again, basically, and um, do right by these banks. OK, so next thing you want to do is you want to become bankable. OK, and get out of check systems if you are already there. And the reason why this is important because is because a lot of us have come out of um, bad credit, you know, especially like myself, uh, Janelle. Also, uh, a lot of us have came from bad credit. So. Um, with that being said, you know, we also came from having a bad uh, check systems report. But my, well, actually, my check systems report was it was OK when I first started building credit because I didn't have anything on there. I didn't have anything on my check systems uh, report at all because I had paid off all the banks that I owed uh, money to. OK, so I ordered a copy of my check systems report and couldn't find anything there. Okay. Um, so that, that's a good thing because if you don't have anything on your check systems report, I mean, then you can, um, you know, definitely get approved for any bank account anywhere, pretty much with a lot of banks. I, I wouldn't say any bank uh, because different banks have uh, different requirements for um, getting a bank account with them. OK, but you definitely want to check your credit systems report uh, too, also as well. And for that, you could just go to the check systems website and um, there's a link there where you can click on and get a copy of your check systems report. They can mail you the report to your house also as well. Um, so that way you could have it for review also. OK, and when you get your check systems report, um, you want to check it for any inaccuracies and um, if, they, if you see any inaccuracies there on your check systems report, um, definitely you want to try to dispute um, those um, inaccuracies there too also as well. If, if it's necessary, I mean, if there's nothing there like my check systems report was, uh, then there's nothing to dispute, right? Uh, but if you have, you know, a whole bunch of negative stuff there on it, then it is it, something you might want to think about to try to um, dispute it. OK, and it has a link here um, to another. Um, this is the website Credit Full and um, they can, you know, they go over how you can get yourself out of check systems. OK, get yourself out of check systems, how you can. Um, they give you a few tips there, how you can dispute um, some of these items um, out of your check systems report. Um, to also as well. So once you get that all done and you get your check systems report, uh, okay, um, 
if you have some negative things on your check systems report, uh, then you definitely want to go for an account, a bank account uh, that is a second chance account. OK, if you want to get one like right at the moment. But if you want to wait, then you could try to dispute with check systems or you could even, um, you know, in the process of um, trying to open a bank account and you already know what bank you're going to. Uh, when you go to that bank, you could talk it over with your banker and, you know, maybe explain some of the reasons why, um, you know, you owe that money. And let's see if they can get you into a second chance account. OK, um, so also <coughs> what you wanted to do next after you've done all that is, <coughs> excuse me, you want to look at your approval requirements. OK, you want to look at approval requirements uh, for um, some of these, uh, you know, bank accounts or credit cards that you're looking to, um, you know, uh, set yourself up with. OK, and for the approval requirements, pretty much a lot of those um, see a lot of banks, they're not going to tell you everything, especially like credit card uh, banks, creditors. They're not going to tell you everything about how you can get approved for their own credit card. OK, um, some things they just don't want you to know. Right. Um, so the one way you can find out is you can go through what's called crowdsourced info. Okay, crowdsourced info is basically you're finding out information from various sources, various sources of um, people who are consumers of those banks or maybe they done business with those banks in the past. They've had bank accounts with those banks in the past. They've had those credit cards um, with those banks in the past, like for example, if you're looking to get, you're looking to apply for a, um, let's say a, uh, city bank, uh, double cash, right? City double cash card. Um, you want to know something about city, right? You want to know, uh, something about that bank. Okay. And to get a lot of these, a lot of this information, city is not going to tell you everything that you need to know to get approved. Okay. Um, so to get a lot of this information, you're going to have to go to people who, um, have had those credit cards or have those credit cards now. Um, you know, and there's other sources where you can get this information from too. Uh, there's YouTube is like a, a widely used search engine is like the second largest search engine in the world after Google. Also, you can go to Reddit. Reddit has a lot of forums where a lot of people um, talk about all types of topics. And I'm sure there's someone there that can answer your questions and it can, you know, um, let you know. Uh, a lot of those approval requirements for that particular credit card. Okay. Then you have the My FICO forums, uh, which is also great. Uh, Facebook credit groups are also great. There's tons of them on Facebook. Uh, they talk about credit. They talk about business credit. They talk about all type of topics. Okay. And also, last but not least, is the banks. Okay, like I said before, the banks are not going to tell you everything that you need to know to get approved for that credit card. Okay, so what do you need to do next? Well, what you need to do next is you need to find a bank. You need to find a bank um, that has that credit card that you want to get approved for. Okay. And then after that, you want to get it, get yourself a banker. You're going to find a banker there. You want to make sure you get his or her business card. Okay. And the purpose of that is because you want to get to know that person. Okay. Uh, make that person become like your friend. Okay. Like a good friend of yours where you can just call them up anytime that, you know, that they're available and, you know, maybe ask some questions, maybe just call them up and say, Hey, how you doing? How's your day going? You know, you, you had a busy day today, you know, um, things like that. Okay. Um, a lot of banks, um, they don't like when people just come in there and they just want something all the time when they come in. Okay. They like to see people sometime, you know, come in there and ask them how their day was, how their day is, you know, things like that. Maybe 
you know the manager's birthday is today, maybe get him a card or get her a birthday card and say, hey, happy birthday. You know, I hope you're enjoying your birthday. Things like that. Be, you know, more personable than transactional. So that's the difference between, um, you know, um, a banking relationship and a transactional relationship uh, because a transactional relationship is where you just in a relationship just to make transactions, you know, you just, um, you know, and they don't really know you because that's all you're doing. <clears throat> but when you're in a banking relationship, you know, you're building a relationship with that bank. They know you. They know you because you're there. You, you're there. You're like you're in their face. <laughs> I should say, you know, um, you're relevant. You, you're keeping yourself relevant to them. OK, and that's very important um, too. also as well. It just makes it a lot easier when you go there in the future and you say, well, hey, you know, I need a loan for my business, need a business loan. It makes it a lot easier when you go in and say, hey, you know, I, I, I like Citibank. I have a Citibank account and I, I want to get a Citibank. I like the city double cash card, you know. Um, what I need to do to get approved for that, you know, you got a better chance of getting what you're looking for um, by building a relationship uh, with that bank, okay, then um, you would by just simply being transactional uh, all the time, okay? Um, so the next thing you want to do is you want to set up accounts with the help of your banker too also as well, okay? And the reason being for that is because you get a lot of information from him or her um, two also as well that you're going to need. You get an opportunity to ask questions face to face. Uh, two also as well, which is a lot different from online banks and online bank accounts where you really don't have that opportunity that, you know, you can have a face to face one on one conversation with somebody and ask some questions, have your questions answered um, Two also. So it is a big difference, you know, going into a branch uh, than applying for a bank account online. OK, so you want to set up uh, some bank accounts there with your help of your banker, uh, like savings accounts or a checking account. And also when you do that or before you do that, you definitely um, want to find out how much money you need to deposit into that account, how much money you need to keep in there. And how long uh, you need to keep that money in the account too also as well. And how are you going to find out that information? Well, basically, um, you're going to find out you, you should already have that information because you already did the research. You already went to the crowd source of information and you found out the information that you needed because, hey, there's some banks, all right, that they require you to have a bank account with a certain amount of money in it. Um, before they will even approve you for a credit card. And they don't care how high your credit score is. They really don't care. You could have an 800 credit score. You could have an 850 credit score. If you don't have a bank account there with that bank and the amount that they require you to have in there, you're going to get declined. Okay? It's happened to many people before. Credit Actually, uh, Ax Sebi made a video about that too. Um, also where he got declined for the same reason. Okay. Um, so another thing you want to make sure um, too is that you know uh, what your requirements are to, you know, to meet those credit card requirements. Okay. Um, you also want to know when to apply for the credit card. Timing is like almost everything. Okay. You want to know when to when to apply for the credit card, what time is right. And again, you should already have all this information because you got your crowdsourcing information, right? Remember from the FICO forums, from the Reddit, from the Facebook credit groups, from watching YouTube, the gurus giving you this free information, all this free knowledge for you to go out and get any credit card that you want, right? So you should already know when to apply for the credit card. OK, you already went out, you already talked to a few people who already have the credit card that you want to get. Right. So you should already have 
all this information okay and an another thing you want to do is you want to know if you meet the credit cards requirements too also as well target demographic target demographic is huge and is very important people because target de demographic it tells you exactly what type of customer that bank is looking for to approve them for their credit card and this is the reason why so many people got denied for the Apple credit card why is because well maybe they had a great credit score they possibly had maybe had a 800 820 820 credit score okay some of them maybe had a 790 credit score okay but Apple was just looking for a specific target demographic okay and a lot of these big banks also are looking for a specific target demographic so don't think because you know their target demographic are people with a 620 credit score to a 680 credit score that you have an 800 credit score you just gonna go in there they just gonna approve you you're not their target demographic it's possible they could just decline you they don't care what your credit score that how high your credit score is you don't feel you do not fit their target demographic okay so all this information you should already know um, because you already done your research right cakeology says great information relationships are everything thank you thank you so much for that Bob I really appreciate you okay another thing you want to know is do you meet that credit cards credit scoring requirements the credit score requirements okay um, you want to make sure of that too also and also do you meet the credit profile requirements okay meaning um, do you have the type of credit profile um, that they're looking for like maybe they could be looking for someone uh, with at least one credit card with one year um, credit history I mean who knows but you would know after you've done the research, right? So that's why doing the research and the crowdsourcing um, of information is so important to do. You also want to check pre-approval offers, but you don't want to just go online behind your computer or your laptop at home and go to a pre-approval site. What you want to do is you want to go into that bank's location especially if you're applying for specific um, credit cards that have things like a 524 rule like Chase does uh, you want to go into that branch location because you got a better chance of getting approved there okay and check for the pre approval offers once you get inside of the bank okay um, also you want to apply for the card through your banker okay you want to go to your banker you know maybe you could call them up on the phone and say hey you know I'd like an appointment with you to come down and talk to you about you know how to get approved for this credit card I really like this credit card I would apply online uh, myself but I would like to go through you because you give me a lot of more information about it and maybe uh, might help my chances of getting better getting approved I really like uh, this bank I've been um, having a bank account uh, with them for so long and I really want to get approved for this credit card so you just go down you talk with your banker and um, they will you know if they can do it themselves like help you apply for that credit card or you know help you get on a pre-approval site or, or if not maybe they can point you to someone else who can in that bank but it's good that you walked in there physically because that increases your chances of being approved okay and then the next thing you want to do is if you get denied for any reason for that credit card you want to try calling that reconsideration line um, you know give give that one last attempt with them and you know when you speak to the first representative you know um, don't just give up there you know you can call back they have so many representatives that I'm sure if you call back like you know a couple minutes later uh, a different um, CSR is gonna pick up and you, now you're talking to a whole different person because maybe the last person you talked to was having a bad day 
um, you know, and you just happened to be on the other end of the line, and 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 they wasn't really trying to hear uh, approving you at all. But now this person, maybe he had a good day, and he's more open and receptive to what you gotta say, you know. So you definitely want to give it a few tries with the reconsideration line. Um, you know, if, if you don't succeed the first time, you can hang up. You can call back. You can hang up, you can call back, you try that a few times, you know, and then if none of that works, then, you know, you you definitely want to apply again at a future date, okay, and don't give up on it, because especially if it's a card that you want, maybe you got denied the first time, a lot of people that I've known, they've gotten denied, you know, the first time applying for a credit card, and they came back again um, in the future, and they end up getting approved, uh, for that card so it just goes to show um, you know that if you try and try you know you will succeed at last okay but if you fail you know if, if you fail to plan then you're gonna plan um, to fail you know uh, so I really appreciate everyone who has joined us here on this live stream um, this evening and I want to thank all of you for joining us um, to also uh, as well and right now I want to take a moment to say a special thank you to all of the uh, first and foremost I want to say especially you want to definitely click on his name inside the chat uh, click on go to channel when you get there click on subscribe and hit the bell notifications so that way you will not miss any of the videos that he makes on his channel um, there too also as well and I want to say a special thank you as well uh, to Curtis Page. Curtis Page, welcome back. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for joining us once again in another live stream. I really appreciate you also as well. I uh, also want to say a special thank you to Spence Echoes. Spence Echoes, thank you so much for joining us again in another live stream. Really appreciate you. And uh, thank you to everyone uh, for joining uh, with us this evening I know this was like a spur of the moment uh, live stream um, we just decided to do it um, I believe it was yesterday or day before um, so our regular live streams however are every Wednesday at 8 15 p.m. Uh, Central Time again our regular scheduled live streams are every Wednesday at 8 15 p.m. Central Time. I want to thank all of you who have joined us, who have, you know, fellowship with us uh, this evening in our live stream and participated uh, in our topic uh, that we shared today. Thank you so much uh, for joining uh, with us. Um, all the links to um, to follow me are here on the screen. Uh, to also as well the social media links. Um, and if you want to click on one of them, you can do so at the bottom of the about section of this page. Also join our Patreon, that way you can enjoy all the benefits of having a credit coach, helping you every step of the way, increasing your credit score, helping you build credit um, too also as well. And if you need to email me about anything, maybe credit repair or increasing your credit score, whatever the situation is, uh, you can email me. Uh, the link is at the bottom of the about section um, here on this channel too also as well and thank you to all of you who have joined uh, this evening um, be safe um, stay blessed have a happy Labor Day and we'll see you guys in the next video